I've replaced the chrome pieces here on the, um, the windshield wipers. Um, and uh, with the paint kit, when you repaint your, your car, you get a paint kit. You get little grommets for the bottom side under here. I chose to go ahead and replace this and the, uh, and the chrome nut. Now, when you're tightening up these chrome nuts, what I recommend is that you put a, a, piece, of, put a piece of plastic over it. It's just a thin piece of plastic. And what that does is when you're using, it's a three quarter inch socket. Uh, when you're using the socket, it will protect the chrome when you're putting torque on that. Um, and it will keep it from you know, metal to metal contact. You don't want to over torque that. You just want it to be snug so that it, uh, it has uh, enough to uh, to bite on that rubber and to be plastic to be uh, waterproof. Um, if the next thing you need to do is put the uh, the wiper blades on, and I'll show you that in a second. Hang on. Okay, so on the MGB, the windshield wiper arms are kind of a mystery. When you're trying to take them off, you'll notice that there are no visible screws, no no uh, set screws or Allen screws all the way around the fixture. And so the only thing that you're left to do is to open it up. So when you pull, when you fold it back, if it's on the car, all you see is that spring, and you're thinking, oh, maybe I take that spring off, and it, and it doesn't. Um, what you need to do is reach in to let's see if I get a good lighting here. Right there, you see a little tab. That tab is spring loaded, and you have to manipulate that spring with a flat screwdriver but not a big one you need to use a small one um, that's a small blade so you can get up underneath there and manipulate that spring once you get that spring um, pulled back uh, then it'll come up and there's 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 no screws it's just that spring um, and that spring catches the inside ring and you can see on the actual windshield wiper's head, there's a, there's a ring that goes around and that's, that little spring catches underneath that ring to hold it in place. So that's all you can do is uh, to pull that, pull that head off is to activate that little spring and that spring will disengage this little groove and allow it to slide off. Um, Okay, so since there's not an Allen screw and you can't adjust it after the fact, you have to get the angle. You have to get the angle of the wiper set before you put it on. So lay it up against the window the way you like it, and then take note of this angle right here. Once you get that, because if you can see, it's not it has a spring so it's not it's not going to be loaded in the right angle this direction uh, so you have to make sure that you got this one the way you like it um, and then you have to preload that retention spring and slide that baby in there so in order to do that you have to lift it back up um, and uh, so knowing this angle ahead of time help will help you to slide it into place okay so I've memorized that angle. You can see I've got the angle in my mind. <laughs> and I've lifted the windshield wiper up. Now I can orient this in the right direction and I can push against that retention spring. And, whoops, gotta get the right angle. There we go. And I can push that retention spring and slide that baby on. Clink, just like that. All right, so really quick recap. It's really a simple operation. This little tab goes underneath that little that little uh, uh, groove, and so when you get ready, you get the right angle. You want to you want to push against this tab so that it will slide down the shaft. Now, if you watch how incredibly simple this is <laughs> to install, and uh, and you'll see how how it might be difficult to know without knowing that little trick how to take it in or out. So um, you want to set the angle. So you want to line it up against here so that you know where, it, where it's lined up on the windshield. 
up here. And now you know what the angle is of the, of the arm. You can open it, push against that. And before you click it in place, just confirm. You may have to take a couple of different tries. Get it into the groove. That looks about right. And you should be able to slide that right down onto the groove.